I'm Medard Seif, I'm Artistic Director of 30 Bird, which is an interdisciplinary performance company. We are the MRC Laboratory of Molecular Biology, where we've been artist residents for about a year and a half. And this is the culmination of our residency, which results in three performances. And these performances involve architecture, dance, music, science, obviously, and the scientists themselves are going to participate in it. So this is a great opportunity to, to put to test our approach and our, our methodology, which we have been developing over the last 10 years, to quite an epic situation. My name is Taranj Kansari. I'm one of the artists in residence here at the LMB. I trained as an architect, but I'm, I've been doing participatory public art for the per, past 16 years now. In some uh, art and science collaborations, that they became too representational. Um, and we started to think, had, could we challenge that? So we started to bring the idea of home. Uh, there's a lot of houses which are being built around the biomedical center here. But then we started to also think, well, what's the relationship between these homes and these centers? So, so what's the relationship between home and science? So this structure, there are fragments from a shed which was in the old LMB building. But then that got mixed up with kind of different rooms of a home from a corridor to the staircase to the upper floor. And all these places, in a way, having some connection to where ideas get generated. But during our residency we had meetings or what we called hostings around our structure uh, and these hostings were called things like a living room in the service of science or kitchen in the service of science and based on those we then we then thought of creating mobile situations so for example the piano which is called the experiment this piece is designed to challenge expectations and it's the same sort of expectations we have as scientists when we design an experiment. We have a, a result in mind and we go through the process of trying to prove it and very often that doesn't happen and instead you get some sort of nonsense or unexpected result and you have to try and make sense of that and, and that's what this represents. To see a pianist sitting at a piano you, you get a real sense of expectation and so we have some proper performances and, and some, some things which would be considered failures. Then we have, for example, um, a chair or we have a television with uh, flies on it. And that's because one of the scientists uh, who was at, at the hosting said that, oh, my living room is only used for watching television. So we've got this television with a uh, crime drama and there's a, uh, a chair that he pushes. And these two come together. And when they come together and people are, are around, people can sit on it, go on a ride or get in, uh, engaged in a conversation which is not just about the work that he does, it's about domesticity, it's about watching television, it's about living rooms and the scientific work that's taking place. So dance is choreographed by, by uh, Pepa Ubera, with whom I've worked before on other projects as well. And she is going to explore the architecture of the space as informed by our big structure and how she can interrupt these spaces, extend the spaces. So for example, the posters will become an extension of the dancers' bodies. They will also interact with the public uh, as well and interrupt their, their position. They, all, they almost become what I like to describe as spatial or architectural performers. The experience was incredible. I really learned how to get into the space. I got a couple of strange looks because it's kind of that kind of performance, but it's a brilliant performance. Being the youngest is a big thing. It kind of makes me proud. I'm a great believer that experimental work is not for the few, but for the many. And it's a fallacy that you have to go to a special theatre or a special venue or a special gallery to see is really experimental work. No, I believe that actually this sort of work is very much for everybody to engage with and to contribute to. So the LMB um, Artist in Residence here is part of a wider public art programme across the whole expansion land of the Cambridge Biomedical Campus. So I'm Sean Munro, I'm the head of the Cell Biology Division here at the LMB and I've also been overseeing the committee that's been organising this Artist in Residence project. I was really pleased, it was really great. We had a good turnout and uh, moreover the people really interacted and engaged with uh, both the scientists and the artists and actually I think it's been really interesting for us 
particularly seeing the scientists who've got engaged in it, mm. and particularly the young scientists who've got engaged in it, how some of them really learned new ways about communicating their science. We've seen some of the possibilities where you can bring some performance elements in to communicating science to the public, and that's been absolutely fascinating, actually. In, inside this particular bottle is phenyl acid aldehyde. It smells a bit like flowers to me, and it's attractive to the flies. So I study flies, and uh, I try to understand how their brain processes orders. So I really enjoyed interacting with the people and seeing the kids and hearing what they think about orders and smells and how the brain works and how they react to me as a scientist, but more disguised as an, an artist in, in some way. So I hope that by experiencing today's event, people will see that there are different sides to culture and that one culture and science, for example, don't have to exclude each other. And, and by merging, they can give rise to new things that, that, that can be stimulating in everybody's life. I've never seen a performance about science. So for me, this is quite a breath of fresh air. At first I was quite confused, but when I like kind of understood it a bit more, it was actually quite cool watching it. Interesting to see how an artist see our work and like how you express artistically what we do every day in the lab. That, that's very, very interesting. <laughs> and I think that's what's really important is to find new ways of talking to people about science and opening up those conversations. It's fantastic actually to enable artists and scientists to be able to collaborate together on an equal footing, to really illuminate kind of both their practices and how they can work together for the wider public. The whole process, uh, you know, has in, it been involving scientists and it's been a process of persuasion and working collaboration you know, with scientists, for them both as participants, as, as, as also members of the audience, to discover how this works. And I think it seems as if we've got to a point where people really appreciate what, what, what has happened here through this collaboration. So now that that consensus exists, it would be a shame now to just abandon it you know, and go back to square one. And here's an opportunity to take steps forward. I'm not going to make sense. <laughs> Thank you.